How's it going everybody? This is Bobo Rail here with a brand new Vigor Patch Notes video. So, this week we have update 2.0, or the hunting update coming to Vigor. This update is going to give us some new highly requested weapons and features, as well as the new usual UI and gameplay changes. This update should be a real crowd pleaser and should help fill in a bit of the content drought that the Vigor community has been in since the start of Season 1 back in December. This being a new season, more cosmetics and a new battle pass will come with this update, so if cosmetics are something that interests you, you'll probably have plenty of new content. The update will be accompanied by the typical dev stream, which you'll be able to check out at Eastern Time tomorrow, February 5th, on the Vigor official Twitch or Mixer. So enough of me blabbing and I'll give you what you're here for. So for starters, let's look at some of the new weapons. So the shining star of this update is the crossbow. Now crossbows have been a talking point in the Vigor community since the game has launched. As kind of a fun and gimmicky idea to add a little bit more variety to the gameplay. And this weapon is 100% that. It's fun to use and play around with, but for the most part you won't be using this if you're trying to get lots of kills or play the game seriously at all. The bullet drop of it is very heavy, the sights are strange and hard to use, and the accuracy is questionable in pretty much any position, whether you're crouched, standing, or prone. The thing is, it's hard to use and it's hard to shoot. It packs a hefty two-shot kill, which of course, like most weapons, it also has a one-shot kill if you hit him in the head. Uh, in my opinion, this is exactly how the crossbow should be, and I think the devs did a really good job with this. If in the hands of a really skilled player, the crossbow can be very effective, but challenging to use, and it's never going to really outperform any real guns in its rarity class. You'll look and feel cool while using this crossbow, and maybe land a couple of silent kills if you're lucky. Next is another fan favorite, the infamous Mosin Nagant is returning. The rifle was in the game during its paid beta stage, and is a great high damage bolt action that's capable of a two shot kill at any range. Accuracy is on point with little to no bullet drop, and this should be a great weapon to drop targets at long range. Now after the weapons we have two new tools. One being the Sniper Glint, which works very similar to the Sniper Decoy from Battlefield. I'll put a picture of that on screen now. And then there's also a Portable Detector, which allows you to reveal enemies within a short radius of yourself. So basically a mini signals detector. There's also one more weapon, but it's not a gun, it's a knife. The John is a very large survival knife that can kill in two swings. So there's some glistening footage of this new knife as well. Now with all the content out of the way, let's talk about some changes. The main things are the prices of crowns and in-store items are all going to be dropping. We don't know by how much or any specific rates, but it'll probably sp be specific to each item rather than a blanket change. Hopefully it'll get more people buying cosmetics and getting more money for the devs. And then this update will also be making very drastic changes to gunplay and TTK. Uh, some guns have a faster TTK, some have tweaked recoil. Essentially, update 2.0 brings a complete overhaul to the gunplay and TTK. This switch is aimed more at the direction of speeding it up, making it slightly more realistic, so people will take fewer shots to kill. If I went down the list of changes specifically, then it would take me forever, but if you guys would like to see that in a separate video for specifically what guns were affected and what recoil patterns were damaged, I'll make another one if you guys would like. As always, there are tons of bug fixes with this update, and it's a very long list that I don't want to go through. So, as always, I'll also leave the link to the patch notes down below so you could read it all yourselves if you'd like. And that's all I've got for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, leave a like if you liked it, and thanks for watching, so I'll see you guys next time.